Hey YouTube, um, I'm back and I've got a really big layout update. Um, well, the update is there is no layout. I just got done taking up all the track. Um, it's all right there in that big stack, that big pile. I just got tired of the other layout, how it was looking and how my trains ran on it. Just got tired, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one, and I'm gonna try to. Oh, I'm gonna keep the double main line, the, the two tracks. Um, and this time I'm gonna try to keep them closer together. As you can tell. Um, in my my last track, um, the the outside track was probably about right there, and then the inside track was moved like that far apart, or maybe even more. But now I'm gonna try to keep it about that close to each other um, and it looks like I can do it um, and the tricky the tricky part would be getting on this bridge um, what I'm thinking to do is just take these two pieces out and just move them underneath but have these pieces underneath across to support it and then um, I'll be able to just have both the tracks come right across and it'll be a big, it just be basically one big bridge. Um, some other stuff I've done to the, uh, all my trains are all the way over there on that table and I put some up on the shelves. But most of them are all on this table. Um, got all my, uh, my five good locomotives. So, they're just, um, hanging out on that table, just waiting until I get the new track. Um, oh, I did do some stuff to my, uh, maintenance of weight trucks. Um, I think it was like last night or yesterday. Um, I'll start out with uh, this one. The uh, I guess it's like kind of like a steak bed truck. It's not. It's not a dump truck. The bed doesn't come up. It's just on there. But uh, I did some detail to it. I let's see. I added some. I added two red barrels and some ties to that. Um, the ties aren't glued down. You can tell they're just loosely placed in there. But I try to keep them on um, on um, this side, opposite side of the barrels. So it kind of looks cool. I mean, not kind of, but it, it looks really cool. Looks really neat. And then to my flatbed crane truck I did um, a lot of detailing to it so I'm going to get started I added some rails on top I got two short rails and two long rails on this side so that's pretty cool and then on the bed I put um, three wheels and a spare truck so I think that's pretty cool um, and they're all glued down. The wheels in the truck are glued down, so um, they won't. They aren't going anywhere. And to this guy, I didn't I haven't done anything to him, just cause I don't. I don't really know what details to put on him. Um, I might put a. I might put like a um, work beacon on all three of them. Uh, on the on well, maybe not on this truck, cause I can't really fit it under there, but. Maybe on this one and this one, a uh, uh, light beacon on, on the cab. Um, so that's that's what I did to that to those two trucks. Um, oh, and my last update, my cord broke for my Digitrax, but I got another one. All nice and uh, new. They sent me it as a replacement, so I got it for free. And then I also got. Some graffiti from Backdrop Junction. Um, a friend off of Train Life 
uh, had a uh, that is a uh, new product he is uh, working on and he sent out 10 free sheets um, as sample sheets and I was one of the lucky 10 to uh, get get um, get one so um, it, the, it's really nice graffiti I just have to put on my trains um, so I'll get around to that after I get the layout done but um yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much the uh, update I'm gonna um, get a new track plan down and hopefully it'll be, it'll be better than the one I had last time um, and I'll keep you guys updated so uh, stay tuned uh, keep uh, looking for updates and uh, train videos uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.